Hello fellow spuds and welcome back to the channel. So it's a bit of a weird one because actually I did a whole other episode that didn't record properly. I'll, I'll leave a little preview of that just to show you what I mean. But it the video all recorded in a weird scale. I don't really understand it. But it means it's basically unusable. Which is a shame because I actually covered a hell of a lot of stuff. So <laughs> we'll go into what I did. So I made a blast furnace as you can see. We attempted to make our first bit of pig iron, but for some reason it didn't smelt, it wasn't hot enough to smelt it all. And then trying to use the bellows on this, it just doesn't get hot enough. So I think, on the wiki it doesn't mention it, but I think it needs to have the mechanism in place now to speed up the bellows. Because I think the speed at which I can do it isn't quick enough to actually get it hot enough. So I think that's what we're going to have to be doing today. I will just briefly go over everything else that I did um, off, well, not off camera because I did it during the last episode. So I've made this little wall up. I think it looks quite nice. I've also started doing this type thing. So it's this is a prototype, but I'm thinking about doing something like that on each of the full blocks. Um, I quite like it. I think after a while it'll look quite nice. I've started clearing out all of this space. Well, I did. The trees are actually grown back. It's been... Well, well over, a, well over a season now since the last episode that aired. So it's it's been quite a long time. I've harvested quite a lot of crops. I've fully familiarised the pigs, or the ones that we're choosing to familiarise. I started familiarising the ibex and the bison, but we ran out of oats. Because for some reason, although I had a full field of oats... I, I, I think I barely got a full stack, or a full, uh, what do you call it? I suppose it's meant to be a stack, like when the bar's full, so 160 ounces. I didn't even get 160 ounces on this whole field. So I think that's to do with a new nutrient update, which is slight, I think, I think it's slightly harsh given the fact that it was nearly 64 seeds worth of oats, and I didn't even get 160 ounces. But that's fine, so... I'm going to have to try and find some wild oats, which are probably that way since I found them last time. I also did... Where is it? There we go. That is still going, but I made that into cider. So we've got some cider now. This is going to be very wine once that's fully done. It's lovely. Oh, let me up. I also killed one of the ibex because I was re starving and didn't need it because we've got the babies now, so... Got some fur from that. I think that's pretty much everything we covered. Um, also got some honey from this hive. There is a little bit more in here, which we'll cover at some point. But yeah, I think that's that's mostly everything. I spent a good five, six hours off camera preparing for the episode, trying to get that blast one. Because getting enough iron, I only thought it was four iron sheets you needed surrounding the blast furnace. It's not. It's It was 12. So, <laughs> on top of the eight double iron sheets that I needed. So, yeah, it was a bit of a slog getting to that point. So, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, this episode hasn't come out sooner. Um, also, with my change of work schedule, it's probably going to be... It's probably only going to be one or two episodes a week, at least for the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping that it will go back to some form of normality from the 19th of April, but we'll see how it goes. I've got quite a busy personal life and work schedule at the moment, so it is quite tough to get a decent amount of content out to you guys, but I, I will try my best. Right, let's get into it. I think what we're going to do this episode is focus on mechanism to try and get that the bellows up and running properly. Right, guys, and I'm back. So... I've made a water wheel, which was fairly straightforward. It was using the water iron sheet that I made previously, just surrounded by planks. But it's fairly straightforward. What I've done, just also while I pause, is I made a small aqueduct just going from the elevated water source. I'm hoping it should kind of travel far enough to do what I want it to do. But let's just cut down this tree, which I was meant to do before I started recording. Release, release the dam. Oh, are you serious? 
Oh, come on. Oh, well. Fine. That was really stupid of me. Oh, well. There. I'm probably now really injured. Oh, well. Let's place this water wheel down then, I guess. Right, so. so I believe what we have to do is... That one, one at the back. Two. Place an axle. Why can't we place an axle? Obviously, because we need an axle bearing. So that's... Oh, whoops. Way further back than it needs to be. Oh, go away. Too much stuff. Right, okay, let's break that block. That should then be tall enough. Presto. Then pop an axle in there. There we go. And then... Oh, maybe it does need to be one forward. Oh, this is confusing. Come on. Right. Block. Anvil. Water wheel. Come on. Like a three by three type thing. One, two, one, two. It's two blocks away. Maybe it needs to be mounted between. I think it needs to be between two. Maybe that's the problem. Right. Okay. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a tree here blocking the way. <laughs> right. So we've got ourselves a water wheel. Oh, I love the look of that. That's really cool. Right, so what we what do we do? That's that spins that. Cool. So I believe what we need to do open this up. Right, so it needs to go. Right, so the bellows is going to go here. So it needs to kind of come into here. So let's get ourselves. We need a couple of we need a few things. We need a couple of we need a gear. How do we make one of them? Yep. We need a couple of them, I believe. So we need we need oh I've got so much stuff in here. Let's chuck some of these down. So we've got a couple of gears, and what we then do with this is we pop it in with saw. Yep, and then we get smaller ones. So we want I think one that's starts off at 18. We want an 18 and a 9, I believe. Then we need a crankshaft for the bellows itself. Right, so I'm back. So let's have a look. I think we need to place an axle down here first. And to, for that, I need another housing. <laughs> So, place that down, then we need an axle, we place that down, then we place the crankshaft, there we go. Then we just need to connect these bits up to there, and then we are good to go. So guys, I raised it up, and after a lot of playing around, I managed to get it burning pretty hot. So let's chuck some of this in, and let's light it up and see how we do. Not, I'm hoping that it will get to brilliant white, I'm hoping, because it is going pretty fast. It's going much faster than I can, I can pump it out. Let's just have a look. Whoop, so as you can see, it's right at the top. So this should now start the pig iron. I'm happy with this because I had no idea how to do this before the beginning of today. Chuck those down just to secure it a bit. Uh, can I place that? Probably not. That's no, fine. Fine. Yellow, white. White. On. This will fix my issues because I... I'm only able to do one ingot at a time with this with this format. Um, I need to get loads more iron and more fibre if I wanted to do that. But it's just a lot of effort and it would take a lot of time off camera to get it more than one block high. So this way would fix a lot of my problems. I'm able to actually get it to brilliant white. Hopefully. Azara actually got to brilliant white. Yes! <laughs> we did it. Actually did it. Quickly, we've got a steel ingot. We did it, guys. 
spirit at steel. Do it like charcoal, save that. But that's how you do it. Oh, huzzah. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Victory. Oh, thank God. Excellent. Right. So can I actually do anything with you? No, I can make you back into iron, which I definitely don't want to do. So we've got to the steel stage. That's that's amazing. Let's have a cel celebratory snack of some cooked mutton. <laughs> right. So that's going to be a long time doing anything. But so I like getting to a like the the steel stage is going to take absolutely forever. But I will try and get there off camera. I need to make a steel anvil before anything else. Um, so it'll be a steel anvil, and then after that, I believe it's going to have to be me going to find nickel so we can progress, make make black steel, then the coloured steel, and go from there. So blue and red. So yeah, really, really happy. We're getting getting pretty far now. Um, oh, look at those piggies. I love those piggies. So cute. Right. So, keep it growing up. It's good. I don't know how long any of the animals actually take to fully grow. Hoping I can find enough oats in time to actually... Oats in time to feed the goats to get them familiarised. Be nice. Oh, we've got some more wax. Right. So, not quite sure what to do for the rest of the episode now, to be honest. Because I've got that set up. Right, I think, guys, we might as well carry on doing the mechanism stuff and make a kern. So I've just placed a kern in there. However, I completely forgot that we need to get the thing that I made earlier, whatever it's called. Uh, where did I put it? There we go. Rind. So we made that rind way, way back. We've also got millstone, which is made with normal raw stone in a circle. So I think, first of all, we need to fix our, our fractured leg. There we go. At least we can move a little bit quicker now. These trees are sprouting up all over the place. Like, I don't even think I've seen a sycamore nearby. Now I've got a sycamore tree. I mean, which is quite cool, but I don't really want to be growing more trees. <laughs> I suppose it's all charcoal. I, I need a lot more charcoal now that I've burnt through it all doing this. So, we've got this. I need to pick that up again. Pop that down. We need to put in the rind. Now that we got that, how do we do this? Do we just right click? There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh dear. So, let's have a think. What's the best way to do this? I don't know if I said it before. So that's an 18 to a 9, and then back to an 18 to a 9. So, an 18 to a 9 will double the speed. And you go back to an 18, it halves it. You go back to a 9, it doubles it. So, we want to do something similar for this, I guess. Or let us... Need to go to a nine. Oh, one more. Nine. There we go. Uh, that's that one, I guess. And this might be a bit trickier than I thought. I'm back, guys. I got it working, so <laughs> it's a bit messy, but it'll do. I don't know what's going on with the textures either. I'm sure it's starting to do with Optifine. Um, but, yeah, so I had to... I'll, I'll go up and show you. So it, is, it is messy. I can make this a, a lot neater, but just for simplicity, I'll probably change it going forward at some point. So we've attached another large gear onto here. Also, this is probably nowhere near the best gear ratio. I could have made this a hell of a lot better as well, but just I've just done this. So got that done. This attaches to a axle couple with a little lever here, so I can turn this off if I can just see it. Uh probably can't access it from here. No. But if you Oh, I might be able to there. No. Oh well, it doesn't matter. But if I turn the lever off, it will decouple this and the bellows will work fine. If I turn this on, the bellows will not work. So if I'll show you. Um, also, sorry, this goes to a 9, then this goes to another 9. But if I seal this up and I show you what I did. So I've had to take off the 
crankshaft, but in doing so, it allows it to turn. It's done that whole stack of graphite. That's pretty quick. But if I put this down, the whole thing comes to a grinding halt because there's too much load on the system. So it's it's a bit messy where I have to pick up the crankshaft manually to get this to turn. But here's the lever, so I'll turn that off. That deconnects that. And then the bellows works fine. So it's a bit dodgy, but it's, it's the best I can come up with. And I have never done this before, so forgive me if it's a, it's a bit rough around the edges. Right then, guys, I think that's about it for this episode. It's a bit of a short one, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I think next episode is going to be exciting. I think we're going to journey off to try and find some nickel, just as the last piece of the puzzle before we get into the Steel Age. And that means we can, if I get plenty of nickel in time, we can just go jump straight into red and blue steel, I think. I, I will need to get a lot of charcoal. I currently have six left. <laughs> so I think I need to expand the charcoal pit. Maybe get um, yeah, I'll I'll get a proper charcoal pit going. I'll um I'll probably expand it to a five by five instead of a three by three. I'll get some more charcoal, but I think nickel is top priority for the time being, just so that we we're ready basically. And then after that, it's just a case of expanding the base and make it more efficient and blah blah blah. And we can go from there. But thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what we see, please leave a like and subscribe. Any feedback you can give me as well would be great. Especially if there was a simple... Well, I imagine there is a simple way to fix this and make it look better, but <laughs> it, it, it doesn't bother me that much at the moment. Anyway, if you have any other feedback or comments, just please leave them below. Or you can go to my Twitter, which I've I've linked to the channel, and you can ask questions there. I might try and utilize Twitter later on just to for polls and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.